One of the important aspect of a great video is great audio. This is full M1000 Pro wireless microphone system. This wireless microphone set has something that can really blow your mind and it's making it apart from most of the wireless microphone in the market in this price range. To make it short, it's almost all in one microphone you should buy. So stay with me till end of the video. I will show you guys everything it offers. Hey, what's up guys? If you're new to my channel, my name is Suleiman. I'm making photo and video gear review as well as tutorial on this channel. If you're a return subscriber, then thank you so much for visiting my channel once again. If you didn't subscribe to my channel yet, your subscription will be highly appreciated and it will support this channel. I have lots of wireless microphones set in my studio, but none can beat this and most of them are more expensive than this one. Before starting this video, let me show you guys first what's included in this box. Thanks to guys on Full M for sending me this wireless microphone system. However, this is not sponsored video. This will be my honest and unbiased review. That's why you'll find both pros and cons about this wireless microphone set. So before everything, let me show you guys first what's included inside the box. So uh, this microphone Full M1000 Pro is coming like in two version or two type. One is Full M1000 and another one is Full M1000. 1000 Pro. The only difference between Full M1000 and Full M1000 Pro is that Full M1000 is coming with only with one transmitter, but the 1000 Pro is coming with two transmitter. As you can see, this one is already marked as a Full M1000 Pro. It means this box has two transmitter and one receiver. The user manual, uh, to be honest, most of the these uh, wireless microphone are coming with small tiny user manual which is really useless but believe me this user manual is bigger and it has lots of information that can really help you to operate and uh, troubleshoot your wireless microphone so if you have one of these microphone or if you're planning to buy it do not throw the user manual there is a small very nice pouch which is uh, which has uh, lots of accessories to love microphone it's included these are two love microphone some uh, usb cable charging cable and 3.5 mm for connecting it to your camera and also a dead calf this is uh, for protecting your audio especially if you're using it outdoor if there's a windy condition let me put this aside and open the main unit so this is the box itself it has a, a charging indication and a button and then on another side is a usb support which is for charging the whole unit so there's one receiver and two transmitter with a very nice magnetic charging box the good thing about this charging box is that you don't need to charge um, receiver and transmitter individually just put transmitter and receiver inside the box and connected to USB uh, cable and it will charge everything. In this video, I will talk about the technical specification, ease of use, and obviously the sound quality and what make it apart from rest of the microphone, which I have in my studio. And finally, the last one will be my final conclusion if it's worth spending money on this microphone set or not. Full M1000 Pro is coming with a dual transmitter in one receiver with a very nice magnetic charging case a uh, volume 1000 giving you three mode low cut mode a dsp which is active noise cancellation up to minus 6 db noise cancellation option and another mode is mkt giving equal type of sound the whole unit can be charged in two hour and it will last for seven hour it means once you fully charge this uh, it will run for continuous seven hour operating time is seven hour once it's fully charged the whole unit will shut down after five to six minutes if there's no connection or it will shut down automatically when you place it in the storage box using this uh, set is very easy let me take out both receiver and transmitter turn on the transmitters and receivers when they are turned on they are connected so you don't need to pair them manually connect the love microphone to 3.5 mm jack of transmitter this is a road wireless go right now i'm using road wireless go and a video mic NTG. This audio is from a Rode video mic NTG, but later on I will be using a Rode Wireless Go and Full M 
to show you the comparison of both unit and how is the audio quality because sound quality is very important and obviously the sound quality is the most important factor of any microphone the correct microphone with the proper mic placement can certainly make your voice sound better so now let's see how is the audio quality of full m1000 pro right now i attach uh, both the road wireless go and full m1000 uh, pro with love microphone as you can see here this is road wireless go and i will try to put it almost at the same position with road wireless go uh, both a transmitter are connected with love microphone and this is the audio quality from Rode Wireless Go. The camera setting the audio level for Rode Wireless Go is on three. The camera level is three, but for full aim, uh, the audio level is on level one. Uh, every time, if you want to use an external microphone, try to uh, reduce the audio level in camera. Do not boost your audio level in camera because it's compressing the audio level. If you want to get a better audio quality, try to reduce, uh, try to keep the minimum audio level in your camera and boost the audio level from your uh, microphone. So since uh, I test the uh, full M, the the audio level of a full M is a little bit higher as compared to Rode Wireless Go. Uh, most of my uh, microphone I'm using when I'm using uh, I'm keeping the audio level in camera to three, but for uh, full M, I'm keeping it to level one. So anyways, uh, um, that's not a big difference. So right now, this is the audio quality you're hearing from Rode Wireless Go, and I will change it to, this is the audio quality from full M uh, without any uh, effect, um, normal uh, audio quality. This is the audio quality from uh, Rode Wireless Go. Before shooting this video, I already test uh, Full Aim uh, 1000 Pro. What I realized and noticed is that the audio quality from Full Aim is a little bit better than, than expensive Rode Wireless Go. If I'm not true, please correct me. Uh, the audio quality from Rode Wireless Go, which is this one, it's a little bit sharper but uh, the f the audio quality from full aim which is this one it's uh, the audio quality has some like studio quality it's a little bit thicker but the audio quality from uh, road wireless go which is this one right now just the audio quality um, i don't know if you're feeling it or not uh, if not then try to use a headphone so it will be very easy to understand the difference between the audio quality of road wireless go and the audio quality of full m i think uh, what i feel and realize the full m audio quality is better than uh, road wireless go the noise cancellation mode which is giving you minus 6 db of noise cancellation right now i turn on the noise cancellation on full m1000 pro but and a wireless code there's not any option to cancel the noise uh, this is the audio quality from a road wireless go which don't have any noise cancellation and this is the audio quality from full m with noise cancellation on right now my pc is on and it's uh, it has lots of fan it's making some noise i will be silent and I will change the audio from a Rode Wireless Go to Full M and from Full M to Rode Wireless Go uh, just to make it clear uh, how is the noise cancellation. One, two, three. And outside there's an airplane also which can add more noise to the video. So this is the audio quality from Rode Wireless Go, and this is uh, from Full Aim. This is uh, this is the audio mode which is giving echo, which I really don't like it, but it might be helpful to some of you. So it's giving some kind of echo called KTV mode. This is the KTV mode, and this is without any mode with Rode Wireless Go. What I realized uh, that when using Full Aim 1000 Pro with noise cancellation, it's making the audio quality the same like 
root wireless go i think uh, by default the road wireless go already has its own noise cancellation but when i'm not using uh, the audio cancel the, the noise cancellation in uh, full m1000 pro i feel uh, i like the audio um, quality much better because it's uh, giving me audio quality of like uh, a studio type of audio quality right now this is the audio quality from road wireless go and this is the audio quality from full m you just make the judgment yourself uh, rest of this video i will be shooting i will keep shooting with uh, full m1000 pro so maybe in the middle sometime i will change the audio just to make it more clear for you guys so what make it apart from rest of the microphone i have in my studio so why is this different uh, what it has that make it different or apart from rest of the microphone which i have in my studio is that let me uh, explain it like this if you want to have one microphone set to use it both with your camera and your smartphone as nowadays there are lots of even professional filmmakers that sometimes they're using their smartphone to capture a portion of their video or there are lots of content creator vlogger youtubers that they're using entirely uh, or they're shooting their videos entirely on smartphone uh, even sometimes when i want to shoot sometime uh, when i don't have much time or if i want to just capture a moment i'm taking out my smartphone and capture it because it's very quick and easy so uh, if you're a type of a guy which you also use uh, your camera and also smartphone most of these wireless microphones are coming with two cable trs and trrs one is for camera and one is for using it with smartphone. But what if your smartphone don't have 3.5 mm uh, port like mine? I'm using uh, iPhone 13 Pro and uh, Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, which none of them has a 3.5 mm jack. Recently, most of the manufacturer are rolling out 3.5 mm jack, which I really hate it. But luckily, Full M has the capability to connect to your smartphone via USB port. If your smartphone don't have 3.5 mm jack, or even if you're using um, iPhone, because they already included two cables. One is this one, which is uh, USB-C to iPhone, and another is USB-C to USB-C. If you want to use uh, full M1000 Pro with your iPhone, then you can use this cable, this USB-C to uh, iPhone or if you are using android or any other device that has usb-c you can use this cable even you can use it with your uh, laptop if you have a laptop like macbook pro uh, and you don't want to use the uh, 3.5 mm jack then you can connect usb-c to your laptop or any other uh, device that can receive audio signal via usb port then you can connect this to uh, your device and record your audio. So uh, here's my final conclusion about this wireless microphone uh, set to keep everything in mind if it's worth spending money on this microphone set or not. To be honest, yes, it has a very uh, good uh, audio quality, the nice cancellation capability, small and compact. Also the option of using it with USB-C, why not? Of course, it's worth spending money on this because uh, it's lightweight, it has a two transmitter and uh, the audio quality, which is most important uh, thing is uh, it has a decent audio quality and it's all in one microphone, which you can use it with your camera, your laptop, with your smartphone, which don't have 3.5 mm jack. So yes, it's worth spending money on this. If you consider buying one, then I will put its link in the description of this video. The only cons which I found uh, is that I wish if it has the capability to, to record uh, internally, so it will be like uh, one of the best wireless microphone in a budget. So, but still, yeah, it's uh, worth spending money on this. I hope you enjoyed this video and you get some uh, useful information from this video. If you're considering buying one of these wireless microphone sets, then I will put its link in the description of this video. 
if you didn't subscribe to my channel yet i will highly appreciate your subscription like the video and press the bell notification in order to be notified on my upcoming videos if you have any question regarding full m1000 pro wireless microphone set then please write on the comments below i will try to answer all your questions and see you guys in next video